Good morning all. Today I am going to see about modern engineering materials. In that we are going to see metallic glasses. First we are going to see what are the different properties of a material which exist in today's modern materials. That will be large optical non-electronics, non-linearities, optoelectronic electronic property, high sensitivity to light, large thermal electrical conductivity, good mechanical strength, toughness, ductility, lightness so these are the different properties which will be existing for in modern materials and what are the application where it has been used in a day to day life it will be will be the electronic devices photonics elasticity fiber laser technology toys ceramics everything whatever the material which exists it has a different property in it right so the properties of material will be it will be crystal in nature ductile non transparent good conductor and malleable what is ductile yes which is can be easily breakable non transparent you are not able to see the another part good conductor of electricity or an heat malleable which makes the things into an sheet thin sheet right so the properties of glass would be which is amorphous in nature what is crystal if it is crystalline that the material will be crystal brittle which is weak so it can be easily breakable glass bad conductor which does not resist or resist heat or electricity to flow through non malleable so you can't make the glasses into a thin sheet so this is what the property of glasses so here we are going to mix metal as well as glasses to make the metallic glasses for a day to day life modern application so the properties of metallic glasses which give properties of metal plus properties of glass will gives properties of metallic glasses so here the metallic glasses are the type of material which possesses both metal and glasses the material which has the properties of both metal and glasses are called metallic glasses so the property will be if we combine both metal and glasses the property will be enhancing their high strength good magnetic property high corrosion it have both the properties of metal and glass so this is what the properties of metallic glasses so this is what the transition temperature what is transition temperature this is nothing but the temperature at which the material will change to a glass so this when the material the material has been taken in crucible it has been heated to a high temperature then it has been allowed to cool down the material at which it has been changed into glass is called glass transition temperature so this is what the preparation methods of metallic glasses so there were several methods we are going to see it will be melt spinning system that is quenching twin roller melt extraction and sputtering here the melt spinning it is nothing but quenching what is quenching yes quenching is nothing but sudden cooling so, sudden cooling is called quenching so here the melt spinning process this is what an experimental setup of an melt spinning technique the roller has been placed over it and it is it is called as crucible and it has been filled with the metal as well as the glasses and it has been made to uh, heat at a high temperature with a furnace and there will be a very fine nozzle hole there is a fine nozzle hole here when the raw material which has been completely melted and it has been poured through the small nozzle and it has been made into a glass right she um, sheets and it has been made like an ribbon right so in this way the melt, uh, metallic glass has been prepared using melt quenching technique ah, the twin roller is nothing but you will be placing a two roller over there in the two roller a bar, a bar has been sent and it is made into a thin place that is called twin roller system melt extract is nothing but the waste part which is extracted from twin roller is called melt extraction the extra uh, materials which has been extracted sputtering is make it is nothing but making the thing into an combining so the types of metallic glasses class into two types of little metal metal alloy glasses and metal metal glasses so here the metal alloy glass example ferrum copper nickel metal alloy will be germanium silicon borate carbon the metal metal glasses will be nickel magnesium copper metal will be zinc zirconium 
we have we have seen a different properties of you are going to see the different properties of metallic glasses here which the first one will be structural property what is structural yes the structural plays a vital role in a material so they do not have any crystal defect and dislocation metallic glasses have tetra ah uh, yes it has a property of it has a structure of tetrahedral so the atoms has been very closely arranged and there is no crystal defect in it right mechanical property yes mechanical property is, is nothing but stability how the metal can withstand they have high strain high elasticity and high ductility what is ductility making the material intact rope size electrical property yes the electrical property is very high electric resistivity is very eddy current loss is very small the temperature coefficient is zero here magnetic so the metallic glasses which exhibit the properties of both hard and soft magnetic property what is soft and hard magnetic ma material it is nothing but soft which can be easily magnetized hard which cannot be easily magnetized so it exhibit both hard and soft magnetic property they exhibit high saturation magnetization they have less core losses it exhibit narrow hysteresis loop chemical property the major property will be high resistant to corrosion it is not rustable it is made up of a glass as well as metal it has a property of high corrosion highly reactive and stable material they can act as a catalyst the amorphous state is more active and then the crystalline state from a catalytic point of view so this is what the application of metallic glasses so it is a wide application namely core transformer pressure vessel strong spring tape recorder computer memories nuclear reactors surgical clips marine clips so this is what the application of metallic glasses so we are going to see in transformers the metallic the core the outer part has been made up of metallic glasses in nuclear reactor yes we have seen nuclear reactor how they been, we have been producing how we are producing electricity using nuclear reactor we will be making in fission and fusion reaction which is made up of the thorium the nuclear material which has been dumped into an earth right so the waste uh, materials are dumped into an nuclear uh, uh, metallic glasses which does not make the radiation to flow out so this is what the application of metallic glasses in nuclear reactor which does not make the radiation to flow the next one will be springs when you're using in the mechanic with the mechanic students you will be having a uh, pistons uh, the springs which you use in automobile industry the springs which is made up of metallic glasses in computer memories the rams the chips will be using a metallic glasses here in marine cable we will be connecting a world using internet right the internet google yahoo they are using a cable to transfer data so it should not be it does not uh, lose the data so it is made up of metallic glasses right thank you